This is a $100 RC plane. This is a $500 RC plane. And this is a $1,500 RC jet. This plane can fly over 100 miles per hour. We're gonna put these planes to the test to see which one racks up the most points and see which one is the most epic. Let's get dangy. So RC airplanes are actually very difficult to fly. The average person couldn't just pick one up and fly it successfully. So I've actually been training Michael and Chris on some trainer airplanes to get them ready for this day. So I've been flying RC airplanes for five years. I'm also a real life pilot. I've never flown planes like like this. So one small mistake could completely destroy these airplanes. So after the training, I'd say um, I'm pretty, I'm about 40% confident in you. I'm about honestly 80% confident in you. Wait, what? 80%? Not gonna what? lie. How I confident are you in yourself, Chris? <sighs> well, I flew on a trainer plane, which are a lot easier to fly than these ones. So not that confident? No. So I'm not even sure if I can fly this plane, so I'll be flying this one today. But to determine which airplane Chris and Michael are gonna get, I'm gonna fly this plane. They're gonna chase after it. Whoever catches it gets the $500 plane. Three, two, one. Hey! I win! I'm small, plane small. He's a big guy, he's got a big plane. All right, let's get into this challenge. This first challenge is the altitude test. Whichever plane can fly the highest into the air and then come back down and land successfully without crashing wind. Let's see how it goes. This is gonna have to be the little plane that could if you're gonna make it. Yeah, we'll see, here we go. You're gonna have to catch a wind gust. Oh, it's so cute. There you go. I might go take a nap. This, is, well, this plane good. is too slow. No. He's trying his best. You can do a little ah, plane. You got this. Oh plane. no. Oh, sunscreen in my eye. That's as high as I'm getting. Going in for his first landing. Michael, what are you doing? You gotta, I'm gonna land it. You're a little squirrely, bro. Oh! Hey, you're hitting- ah! oh, He's in my play! You hit the jet! That does count. That's, That's a win. Count. Okay, I'm so nervous for this. This is definitely a bigger plane than I've ever flown before, and I'm not really confident in my abilities. All right, doing a throttle test. Ah! That's powerful. So I could basically ride on this plane. It's so big. <laughs> it's six feet wingspan. Dude, Chris is making me nervous. Let already. it up, Chris. All right, I'm going. You're not going. You're Chris, going you slow. Gotta, you I'm going. Go You're running out of things. Chris, I, you got to go. It. I'm doing it. Chris, go, go, go. Whoa. There you go. Oh, my oh gosh, my Chris. I'm in the air. <laughs> Dude, that thing is massive. This thing is so I'm so fast. scared right now. Okay, I'm getting set up for the altitude test. Go. Here we go. We're about to hit full throttle. Ready? Throttle it. Whoa! Go up! Whoa. Whoa. Dude, that thing is so high up! Here we go up! Oh my god! Whoa. Dude, that thing climbs! Dude, that's Whoa. crazy! Well, I successfully landed. Now it's on to Jeff. Jeff, are you ready, dude? Dude, I'm honestly terrified. This thing is a rocket, basically. Yeah. All right, little buddy. Let's fly this thing. <laughs> Just so we don't ruin your expectations, it's very possible I'll be a disqualified on this first challenge. Ready? Five. Four, three, two, one, go! Pull up, Jeff! Pull up! Pull up Jeff! Jeff! Pull up! No! no! Jeff! It wasn't going! No, Jeff, the first time! It wasn't oh, no. going! Dude, okay, Jeff is the most experienced one, and he looks like the biggest noob right now. That it wasn't pulling up. Oh, no! Oh, it's completely snapped! Well, you had a good run. You know what happens, it's just part of flying RC airplanes. Well, that was really disappointing for us, and since the plane ended up in about 37 different pieces, the only way this thing was gonna fly is if we crushed it into a little ball and threw it. So we decided to buy another jet with the fastest shipping possible, so that way you can try this again. Also, the challenges did not go well. The wind started to pick up, which is not good for flying RC airplanes. Chris ended up spiraling out of control in the dogfight challenge and crashed so hard that the battery almost exploded. Plug the battery. Oh my god. Oh wait, this battery is very dangerous. Unplug it. Uh-oh. Here, plug it. This literally can explode. Um, we have the new plane, and uh, we're gonna see if I can successfully fly this thing. Get some awesome footage for you guys. Jeff, you better not crash this one. This is it, our second chance. I don't care if we crash this plane 100 times, we're not gonna stop it until this plane flies. All right, you did your pre-flight checks this time? Yep, pre-flight check. So Jeff's gonna do two things. He's gonna take off, do a 100 mile per hour pass, He's gonna land it, we're gonna flip the GoPro around and then he's gonna take off into the air and go as high as he possibly can. It's gonna be some epic footage. He's just going for it. Oh, squirrely. 
It's squirrely. It's not going. What it wasn't going. It wasn't going up, dude. What's wrong with it? I don't know. Um, pieces, pieces. Landing gear's gone. I don't think it's gonna fly. What do you have to say for yourself? It's the GoPro's fault. Shouldn't have done it. I honestly had a feeling that I shouldn't have had the GoPro on there. So now we've crashed two $1,500 jets and we're getting more financially involved in this challenge. We need to successfully fly this plane. Thanks to the friendly guys at the landing strip, we now know what the problem was. I suspect it was nose heavy. Gravity. <laughs> gravity. <laughs> the GoPro was placed too far forwards over the center of gravity, making it too nose heavy to take off. So that's the bad news, but the good news is that the damaged parts on the new plane are actually in perfectly good condition on the old plane. So with a little bit of time and glue, I can make this plane like brand new. Let's see if it works. I'm literally gonna cut out a piece here and cut out the exact same piece on the other plane and replace it. This is not gonna be easy. Jeff, are you gonna be able to have this done by tomorrow? We need to take off and fly this tomorrow morning if we wanna get this video up on time. I really think I can do it. I believe in you, Jeff, you can do this. It fits, I just have to make it go down. Wow. You're doing great, Jeff. Well, I'm pretty much done. I fixed it. So if you check it out, the landing gear is what was messed up in the beginning. It was all jacked up, but it worked. Ah! Today is the day and we have a crowd forming. The pressure is high. This time we started by reading the manual first so we can find out where the center of gravity is. Well, I'm basically useless, so I'll just stand here and hold the camera. If this crashes and burns, I'm never showing my face here again. I will have been humiliated three times. All right, little buddy, you got this. We're counting on you. Uh, I better do it. All right, ready? Oh, right, you got this, Jeff, you got this. <laughs> he's going, oh, he's just going for it. That doesn't look good. Oh, it's, it's in the air. Oh, just pull up, pull up, bro. Pull up. Oh, shoot, dude, it's flying. Dude, you're flying it. How's it feel? It feels very sketchy. It is very nose heavy. We're you doing a GoPro pass. on the back. You are? Okay, here comes the 100 mile per hour pass. Don't, don't hit anyone. I can't see it. Where is it? What happened? What'd you do? <laughs> it's so nose heavy, <laughs> dude. dude. You got it in the air. Dude, this, <laughs> yeah, I'm triggered. It's done now, huh? It's done. No, it's done. It's done. Oh, where's the guy? <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Oh, no. All I can say is we gave it our best shot. We tried three times. This plane crashed twice. Jeff fixed it and flew and then it crashed again. So uh, you guys want to see us try it one more time. Get this video to 100,000 likes. We'll see you next time.